Hello friends and um, welcome. Let me first explain to you why I'm wearing Griffin the Robes while being a Ravenclaw. I was going to Comic-Con dressed up as Hermione, but because of the coronavirus, Comic-Con got cancelled. At least they set a new date in July, but until that time, I don't get to wear my Hermione outfit and my Griffin the Robes. So I thought, why not wear it? during my top 10 Harry Potter items. It's okay, it's a nice robe. It even got the, like the pointy, pointy hat. Whoa, it's kind of cute. And I, I like it when it's just like this, like on the back. It's, it's a cool robe. I'm quite happy with the robe and it wasn't that expensive. So that explains why I'm wearing Gryffindor robes. And now to the topic of today's video, I wanted to show you guys my top 10 favorite Harry Potter items at the moment. If you are following me from the beginning, that's around August, September, when I started this YouTube channel, you might know that I already did a top 10, but somehow I deleted that video. I don't know how I did that, <laughs> but now I'm doing it again. And my top 10 has changed because I bought a lot of new items in the meantime. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty excited to show you guys my top 10 of favorite Harry Potter items at the moment. And if you like these kind of magical videos or other magical unboxings, then don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit that bell so you never miss another video of me again. Now let's get to it. Before we start my top 10, I just want to say that I did not include mugs, books, Funko Pops, clothes, jewelry, and wands. Because if I had to include those, then it would be a top 50 or something. <laughs> I just couldn't make a top 10 from all those items, so I excluded those. And if you're interested to see a top 5 or a top 10 from those categories, let me know in the comments down below. But for today, I've excluded them from my Harry Potter top 10 items. I made a list of all my favorite items in my Harry Potter collection and we're gonna start at number 10 and then work our way down to number one, which is my absolute favorite item at the moment. And that's also the reason why my shelves look a bit empty because I've gathered all the 10 items on this table beside me. At number 10 are the owl results of Ron Billions Weasley. I absolutely love this item because it has gold foiling. It is a perfect paper replica and it has a Hogwarts wax seal. Uh, you've got all the classes that Ron took, the grades that he got, and then at the back are some comments from the professors. I mean, that is so cool. I absolutely love this item and it's a great addition in my collection. At number nine is my letter from Gringotts Wizarding Bank and my little pouch with Wizarding Coins. I bought these from Sweet Melissa's Gifts. I will leave her web shop and Instagram in my description down below. Be sure to check it out because she has some great replicas from different fandoms high quality and not at all expensive. So yeah, I'm really happy with these items. And let me give you guys a close up. First up, we have the letter in which it says that our application has been accepted. And then of course we got the Gringotts Wizarding Bank pouch. And in here, okay, that had to happen. I always drop something in these videos. So yeah, your fold key. And on this little piece of paper, you can write your own number. And of course, our wizarding coins. Moving on to number eight, we have my own personalized Hogwarts acceptance letter. So this is something that I bought at the Platform 9 and 3 quarter shop in London. And you can see it has a beautiful Hogwarts crest here. And then this gorgeous Hogwarts seal. Look at that. And then at the back, it says my address, but I'm going to show you this top half. You can see it says Leanna Brooks Magical Apartments. And inside this envelope is, of course, my personalized acceptance letter. However, I did seal this envelope with the wax seal so I can just display it like this. But if you want to take a closer look at the letter, I actually made a picture of it before sealing the envelope. Um, I posted that on my Instagram. So if you want to take a closer look, you can find me at Leanna Brooks. 
At number seven is my advanced potion making replica. I bought this on Etsy and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Inside there is the actual information on how to get your ingredients, how to make your potions. It is really cool. I have to admit I haven't read it yet. I probably should do that someday. Uh, but for now it's just a very cool display item and if you want to take a closer look at this replica I will leave the video in which I did that in the info card somewhere around here. Or is it here? I'm not sure. <laughs> You'll figure it out. At number six is a replica from Noble Collection, the Xenophilius Lovegood necklace. And it comes in this beautiful box. We have the Deathly Hallow symbol. Here we have a little orange gemstone. And then you can see that the necklace is quite long. So if I would wear it, it would be down to my belly button. So it's pretty long. If you want, you could wear this necklace. As I said, it is pretty long, but the quality is great and it looks stunning. And number five is my Cornus Pixie. This is another official item, I think, from Noble Collection. I'm not sure though, because I bought this in a little magical shop in Amsterdam called Healy's Frog. So if you want to see my haul video on that, I will leave it in the info cards. Um, but yeah, this is another great item. So it has a gloss case, which you can remove. And these replicas are really amazing. They are so detailed. They look so good. And I can't wait to collect more of these, but they are quite expensive. So I'm going to wait with that a little bit, but I would love to get Head Week as well, um, or an Alchemy or something like that. But for now, I am content with my Cornus Pixie. And number four is something that I did at the studio tour and they took a picture of it and I bought it. <laughs> It is me flying on a broomstick trying to catch the golden snitch and it is in this frame with snow inside because at the time it was Hogwarts in the snow so that's why they put it inside this little frame but as you can see I am really happy <laughs> trying to catch the snitch and um, yeah this is a really precious item to me and that's why it's my number four. We are left with my top three Harry Potter items and at number three is something that I hold very dear the time turner necklace and this is again an item from the noble collection it comes in this beautiful wooden thing I don't know how you call it display case it comes in this wooden beautiful display case and you can pull the necklace out of the display case and when you take it off these little hooks, I can give you guys a better look. So you can see the time turner actually turns. It has a little hourglass in the middle with golden sand in there. And you can even see the words engraved on the different rings of the time turner. And this is a necklace that I actually wear. I think it looks gorgeous. I absolutely love that they made a replica out of this. And yeah, it just looks stunning. At number two is something I hold very dear. I bought this at the House of Mia Lima in London and it is one of their art prints. I am so happy with this. I already put it up in a frame so I'm not going to do it justice because you have a lot of reflection. But you can see it is the burrows and see sign it with your wizard Leanda and you can see that it is number 189 of 1000. So it is really a unique print. If you want to take a better look at this art print, I suggest you go to my Instagram because before I put it up in the frame, I made sure to take a photo of it. So yeah, you can see all the details of this gorgeous print. Another cool addition to this art print is that it comes with a certificate of authenticity. And because she was there while I was in the shop, um, Mina also signed the certificate of authenticity. And at number one of my Harry Potter favorite items is my Hogwarts trunk. I bought this at the One Bread Studio Tour. This is the small version. They also have a bigger version, but I thought that was way too expensive. And I got it personalized. So it has my initials on the side. And as you can see, there are these clasps. So that means you can also wear it as a purse if you want to. I 
didn't do that yet but I could actually do that sometime because I really love how this trunk looks and you can open it here inside I just have all these little trinkets like a letter that I got in which it says that I was chosen to be a Ravenclaw prefect and then I have my passport from the Harry Potter studio tour and some playing cards that I got in one of the Lidjoy magical crates. By far my favorite item at the moment not only because it is personalized but also because it just looks really authentic and like it came straight out of the Wizarding World. And that was it, my top 10 of Harry Potter items. I am always really curious to see other people's top 10s or top 3s or whatever. So if you would like to, you can leave your favorite Harry Potter items in the comments down below. I would love to read them. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So if you did, then please give it a thumbs up. And all that's left for me to say is have a magical day and let's stay in touch.